This is going to be a video product review of the EZ Dose Weekly, which is seven days for those of you that don't know, the Weekly Pill Organizer Vitamin and Medicine Box 2X Large Push Button Compartments Four Times a Day Clear Lids. So I'm looking online right now. Let's see, what does it rate this? Yeah, the rating's okay. A lot of people complain, a lot of people don't complain. It's interesting, they say pill capacity holds 30 pills per compartment. Um, okay, I'm going to open this thing up in a minute. Let me turn this so that the video doesn't just show nothing. Uh, allows easy visibility of medications to help prevent missed doses. Five fish oil pills per compartment, 12 vitamins, 16 capsules, 20 aspirin. So I don't know where they come up with the 30. Uh, I'll show you, I'll, take, I'll unbox it in a minute. Large push button, make it simple to open lids and retrieve medication. And what else? Okay, so I'm going to leave an affiliate link in the video description if you want to order this easy dose thing. Um, it's non-returnable. A lot of people were complaining they weren't happy. Well, it's a medicine thing, and of course it's non-returnable, but if you understand Amazon, you know how to deal with that. And if you don't, I'm not going to tell you. So uh, I bought this for my mom. She has a pill dispenser right now. That's the standard... The reason I'm going slow with this is it's really hard plastic to open. Uh, she has the standard pill dispenser that most people have Monday through uh, Sunday or whatever you want to call it, Tuesday through Monday, whatever you want to say it is. And it's the two, the two row thing, kind of wide, and you got to take the plastic cover and pop it open. And so what I noticed is I was over there yesterday talking about the medication, and I said, did you take your medication? And she kind of like uh, gave me this look, and she says, yeah, I don't want to go into a lot of details, but she wasn't really sure what she was supposed to take. So I labeled all the bottles saying what the four medications were for, and some of the medications you take in the morning, I think most of them in the morning, and I don't know if any in the afternoon, but then there's one that she takes right before bed. So she's able to put the pills in there, but I was thinking, all right, first off, she's not putting the pills in the container anymore, and she's not looking at the bottles, and so she's getting all mixed up on what she's supposed to take. And if she was using the container, the pill that you're supposed to take at bedtime, you really can't put that in the container because then you'd have to separate it somehow. So she'd put her, have to put her pills in the pill dispenser, organizer, whatever you want to call it, and then take the pill before night straight out of the bottle. So I saw this online and I thought, maybe this will be good. This way, morning, noon, evening, and bedtime, so she can, at the beginning of the week, and if she's not going to do it or uh, if she has problems with it, then I can put the pills in here, get them in for the whole week, and then put the bedtime one in here. And that way, I told her, I said, yeah, I don't know if you're even remembering to take the pills when you're supposed to, because she skipped a couple days. So I said, uh, if nothing else, you'll be able to open this thing up and say, okay, so I skipped three or four days of pills. Oops, this is not good. So, uh, easy dose. Um, some of the complaints online are a little bit ridiculous. Maybe uh, quality control, this Friday and Saturday didn't pop open in the right way and she had to return it um, because it wasn't aligned the right way. Some other complaints are they don't like that, uh, like over here, it opens in this direction, it opens down in this one, it opens up in this direction and down. Well, if you don't do that, then you're going to have a whole bunch of, this thing's going to be humongous. You can't really put this opener over here. And I'm going to try this out now, my quality control. So the standard pill dispenser organizer, you lift the little flap up and you open up the door. So you've got one over here and then you've got this thing spaced over here so you can get your thumb in here. Well, these are so close together, there's no room to put your thumb in. That's why they had to do this here. So I'm going to press this button. It's supposed to be easy for people that have dexterity problems. And some people were saying, if you have a dexterity problem, don't get this because you won't be able to press the button because it's so difficult to press. Well, maybe if you don't have strength in your fingers, that could be the case. Um, but I would think, I could be wrong, I would think pressing a button is a little bit easier than getting in there and lifting up a cover or a cap or whatever you call it. So let's press this. 
That's not that hard to do. And then there were some people saying, if you have family that is bothered by loud sounds, they're gonna hear this clicking when you open up the container and it might upset them. Look, if you've got family that gets upset by that little sound, you've got more problems than the medication you're taking. Okay, so um, right now what I'm noticing is I wish these covers open more. I don't know why. Well, it's because of the design, obviously. I don't know why this does. Okay, so that's what they were talking about. It's close together. They made this thing to work, and they should have left a little more space, a little more gaposis between this so that you didn't have the, bound, the banging of the covers. Uh, it says that instead of a flat bottom like most of them are, it's a round bottom so that it's easier to reach in and pull the pill out. So let's zoom in and see if that's really the case. You would go in, uh, I'm blocking the light, you would put your finger in here. I don't notice that it's really round. It's completely flat. I read somewhere that it says it's got a rounded bottom to make it easier. It doesn't feel round to me. It looks flat. Um, now this, when you're dealing with plastic, there's only so much you can do. These, it's not on a hinge, so it's not going to work the way you want. I wish this pulled back further. I think if you bent it back and forth enough, you'd probably break it, and you don't want that. But this is fine. You get your pills in there. It closes. I have no problem with the closing thing. And so then we've got the people that are saying, I don't like it. It's upside down. And they're like, what? Well, that's not that noisy. Come on now, people. Okay, so let's open it up. Let's do... That, I think for me, it'd be easier just to turn it that way in the direction. Um, some people might have a very hard time. <coughs> Sorry, turning it, it might upset them or it might bother them or confuse them. This opens up fine. Closes fine. And then I already did this. This opens, this opens, this opens, opens. I think it's a, a nice product. I'm looking at the price I paid for this thing. I'm happy with it. Why did I get this? I explained why I got it. I bought it. Now my mom is going to be obviously different than you because we all have different situations. You might want to take a morning pill and maybe an evening pill. You might take a, a noon pill and a bedtime pill. But that's the advantage of this wonderful product is, so like for my mom, she's got to take the pills in the morning, as I said, and then she just has one pill she has to take at night. So if we put all the nighttime pills in there and all the daytime pills in there, then if she takes this pill, and she said that she always takes the nighttime pill, I'm not so sure. But that's the advantage of something like this, is when you're taking pills out of a bottle, you don't really know. And you ask doctors, I did this for somebody one time, a doctor talked to me on the phone about somebody who I knew and said, I don't think they're taking their medication. And I said, I don't know. And he said, look at the date of the prescription on the bottle and look at today's date and count how many days in between and count how many pills are in the bottle, subtract it from what should be in the bottle after those pills have been taken, and you'll know if they're taking the pills. And they weren't taking the pills. So with something like this, at least, you got to have the motivation first off to go put your pills in the container. If you don't do that, you're not going to be able to take advantage of knowing if you're missing the pills. And if, if that's not a problem, then the advantage is you don't have to go open up a bunch of pill bottles every single day and maybe you put them down on the counter in the wrong way and you say, did I just take this one or did I take this one or I don't remember if I took it yesterday or maybe you have to take it every other day or a couple times a week. Uh, thyroid pills, who knows how you're going to have to take that or your asthma or your blood pressure or your uh, um, uh, cholesterol or it just depends on what you have to take. So something like this, you start on a Sunday, you pop all your pills into this container for the week, and then you take it. And even if the uh, person who takes the pills isn't doing this, this might be very beneficial for a caregiver. The caregiver can uh, save themselves a lot of time and keep track of everything. Put the pills in here, and the, like I said, the advantage is you've got all these containers. And here's another thing. 
let's say that you only take one, let's say that you take uh, a couple pills a day and that's it. You take them in the morning and nothing else. And you don't scatter anything around. You don't take them in the, the morning and noon and evening and nighttime. You just take it one time a day. Pop all your pills in here, put them in here, put them in here, put them in here. This is going to cover you for almost a whole month. And that is pretty neat. You don't have to hassle with anything. It's going to be very easy to see what's going on. And when you start taking these pills, you're going to know if you took them, if you missed it, or what you're doing. And then when you get this thing filled up, you can look at the bottle. And if you say, that bottle is running low and I didn't get a notification, you know that maybe you've got a week or two weeks or three weeks or four weeks, a month, whatever it is, until you have to order and it's going to make things easier for you. So I know this was a long video. That's okay. Look for the affiliate link in the video description. Again, you cannot return it. Um, there are usually ways around that, but uh, the price isn't that expensive. I don't see why you'd want to return it if it's defective. They're obviously going to give you a new one. Um, and uh, it just means when it says non-returnable, it means you can't send this back because they can't sell it to somebody else. This would go, they would pay for the postage to send it back and then they would put it in the garbage can. And you cannot take something like this back because it's a medical type thing. Even if it's closed, if it hasn't been opened, they wouldn't take it back. It's a medical type thing. It's a medical product. So I think it's a good idea. Uh, buy it, put it in the sink, wash it, get it all cleaned up. Some people were saying, can you take off the cover? Well, I know that you can wash this thing. Um, somebody said, can you take off the cover? And I think they said, go in there and open up all, the, all of the things, and then you should be able to snap this thing off. Hold on a minute. And then after you uh, make sure that you do all of them, you have to do all of them, and then go Wednesday. Use these two fingers, and you know what these two fingers are for. These are this. These are famous fingers, man. You take these two fingers, you reach in under Wednesday, pull. You might have to go over to the Sunday then, and then reach over to Saturday, and look at it. It's a really well-designed product. There, there's no doubt about it. There, you're really limited with something like this on how you can design it at a reasonable price. So you can take this thing out. You can do, oh, oh, okay, I thought it was one piece. It's two pieces. For me, I wouldn't be taking this out. I'm going to leave this alone. I think the less you mess with something, the better. Uh, if you're mixing your medications, there really shouldn't be any dust or powder problems. But if you want to take it out, you take it out and you can clean it. For me, I would rather just put it in the sink, wash it all out, put it back instead of hassling with all of this. Yeah, see so now I got to hassle with all of this to put it back in. And hold on. Um, does it all snap together? Okay, so what we have over here is we have this little nubby over here. You got nubbies on all of these and you have an opening over here. So take the nubby and put it into... I found these results. Oh man, hold on. I don't know why this is talking to me. My cell phone found some results. <laughs> I didn't ask for it. Okay, so, yeah, this is a real hassle to do. I think if you have problems with your hands or you're not able to move around a lot, you're going to regret doing this. Um, I'm trying to put this in right now, and I will definitely not do that again. I would not recommend doing this. You're going to regret it, like I do right now. But I did it for the demo to save the world. So you can see I'm having a hard time putting this in. Okay, yeah, a guy having a hard time putting something in to a, a tight opening over here. Um, I'll be back. It is doable. Why cause yourself more problems than you need to? Just take the thing and put it in the sink and wash it out if you need to. It's back in place. Let's see if it closes, 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 closes. One, four more. Three, four, one, two, three. It's a neat product. I don't take any medication, thankfully. Um, but I think it's a really good product. I'm going to bring it over to my mom tomorrow. Let's face it, a lot of elderly people, a lot of people in general don't like to change. They don't want to be out of their comfort zone. As I said, she's got the two pill container. And she might say, well, I don't need this. I, I want to use what I've got. But again, the advantage is since she takes 
day pills and then a night pill. That is, if she doesn't use it, I'm not going to get my money back. I'll just uh, put it in the closet, put it in the cabinet. Um, but I think this is a wonderful product for seniors, for anybody that takes medication. The compartments are big. And again, the price is so insignificant that if it falls apart, if it breaks, if it breaks after a year, you go out and buy another one. Come on. It's not that expensive. It's not going to cause you a lot of problems. It's a neat product to buy. Let me look again. It is sold online by, come on, my screen says Easy Dose. The Easy Dose Weekly 7-Day Pill Organizer Vitamin and Medicine Box. 2x large push button compartments four times a day and a clear lid and that was one of the other things i wouldn't really say this is a clear lid but it's kind of uh an opaque lid the other pill could most of the pill dispensers you can barely see through them so buy it i think you're going to be happy again look in the video description affiliate link click on it and buy it Make sure you do a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a good comment for me, and thanks for watching.